I see of education as being about giving people power. Uh, the more educated you are, uh, the more power you have. A good education, I think, is one that stimulates and sparks your curiosity, that makes you a more observant person, a more caring individual, to produce an individual who can think and act creatively. Good education is a perspective for life. So education is not to prepare you for life, it's life in itself. Good education is a process whereby at the end of the day, the learners are able to function optimally, socially, but also can be able to have an ongoing capacity to grow and develop in any changing environment. So it's really a system that produces a product that will be able to adapt to society, but also will grow on its own, even after the school has ended. A good education enables any person to become author of their own life story. For generations, people have been trapped by circumstance in our world, but now education provides people with the opportunity to take control of their own destiny. I think education what is changing. It's uh, changing because society and economy is changing. Schools are adapting slowly and governments sometimes adapt even slower to these changes. But these forces are very strong and, and school systems are becoming more flexible. They are more open to society, to economy. Uh, what is more, more important is that we are creating opportunities for people to learn, for everyone. We are, we are not excluding any students from learning and that creates motivation for students. That shows the system is so open that it shows them the way to improve themselves and to achieve the highest standards. So I think that there's a, a lot of excellence, a lot of amazing things happening in education throughout the world. I think the problem is the lack of equity. It's not available to way too many people. What's interesting right now is that with the power of technology, students can have a much more active role. It's been a goal forever to have student-centered learning, student agency, but it's been, been very difficult because all of the knowledge about learning has been in the, in the minds of the of the teachers and, and other people. But now students can have kind of in their hands the tools and the resources, the data, the information about how they are doing as a learner, their own progressions. They can have so much more information that it is actually very possible for them to kind of establish uh, agency. A good education allows people to be those doers, those people who make change. And I think we live in a world where that's becoming more and more critical. We want people who can take action. But I'm not saying that everyone has to operate at a global level. It's even more important you act at a local level, that you impact those people around you. And we build collective capacity to really um, improve the world. Of course, we want to develop higher uh, cognitive skills. We want to develop critical thinking. We want to develop the attitude to, uh, to be a to have an active attitude towards our world, but we can't do that on a void, we can't do that on a vacuum. If our students are not prepared in these core subjects, they will have difficulty for the rest of their studies and for their life. But we have to also go beyond academic achievement. We also have to think of citizenship, peaceful democratic behaviors, social skills, and especially the 21st century skills everybody's talking about, in relation to uh, taking initiatives, learning to learn, uh, learning to meet deadlines. We're starting to understand that the more you can make people think, solve problems, uh, and look at things in different ways, then, then education is not only a more exciting thing to, to carry out, but it's a more effective um, system, and it's a more practical system. So getting children to be more curious is a, is a really important thing to do. The desire of the human mind to know more, uh, to understand more, this is exactly what students have to bring to the classroom. But it's not just students, I think it's also something that the teachers have to bring to the classroom. Because I think teaching and learning is really a mutual engagement. Curiosity uh is the mother attribute of a good learner. I mean, the, is the thing that people should have at all ages to keep learning. It's the driving factor behind learning.
and we should train youngsters to be lifelong learners. If there is a job for the education system, it should be this one. Curiosity is key, because otherwise you cannot be an innovator. And with the fast advancing technology today, you have to think of new techniques for tomorrow. And when there's a curiosity, there's a drive to learn and to know more, and there's a source of energy. That's why curiosity is something we should cultivate, we should encourage, and without fear. I think that all human beings have that natural desire to learn. Everybody wants to know something. Everybody wants to. We all have this thing about what is, what is this, where is such and such. And a good education is one that allows you to ask those questions and one that helps you to find the answers to all those questions and one that provides the teachers, one that provides the direction to where you can find the answers to all the questions that you ask. We need to develop uh, students that become uh, inspired, become lifelong learners to find out exactly what areas of interest they really have, what do they want to do with their life's work. We need to inspire our students and we need to have a buy-in from the teacher and the student and uh, a great collaboration between the two of them. Un buen aprendizaje es el que te saca lo mejor que tienes dentro. Es decir, nadie es un vaso vacío, ningún estudiante llega sin tener ninguna experiencia previa, sin tener ningún conocimiento, sin saber cómo enfrentar la vida desde sus propias expectativas individuales y desde sus propias expectativas culturales. Un buen aprendizaje es el que potencia todos estos saberes y permite a través de ellos mismos alcanzar saberes superiores, alcanzar otro tipo de saberes y nos da una herramienta para seguir creciendo como seres humanos. An education could be formal education, it could be informal education, it could be lifelong education. And in terms of learning, learning we have often been told describes one's ability to inculcate the values and attitudes and knowledge from the womb to the tomb. We learn from the day we are born until the day that we pass on. Of course, central part of our philosophy of education um, has been that you provide a very sort of broad education, including arts, music, sports, etc., within the school system. And that certainly cre has created a culture where most of the people in some way or another are involved in such activities or if they have a special talent, they are given a chance to find it because it happens in this formal school environment. And so when we talk about lifelong learning, it's part of that overall story where people believe in the form of education to bring about success, economic growth and equality. Хорошее обучение, на мой взгляд, это такое обучение, которое позволяет за максимально короткое время получить максимальный результат. И это обучение должно быть доступно из любой точки, оно должно быть доступно для всех, для детей разных, из разных категорий и э, быть э, как раз основой для дальнейшего роста и для реализации личных способностей. Good learning is not about, you know, teaching in the classroom. Good learning is about bringing students, teachers, parents, schools together to figure out, you know, what can I do well, what, I'm, what I have a real passion for, what can I become good at, and then how to create the learning environment to support that learning. I think one of the keys to deep and effective learning is essentially open questions that are ungoogleable, you know, things that you can't quickly answer at a computer, but coming up with a problem, a question, a challenge that ignites students' curiosity and really makes them thirst to know more and thirst for a solution. I believe that we need to dare to listen much more structurally to what children and students um, want to learn. And of course we need to help them. But if we actually see them as equals and trust the fact that they have an innate sense of curiosity and understanding of what they want to learn, I think that we need to listen to their voice much more and have it reflected in the ways that we are designing our education policies. 
I really feel pretty optimistic that we are at the precipice of a possibility of leveraging these new tools that give us mobility, that go with us wherever we are curious to, to learn something. I think the fear that I have is that systems, formal education will get in the way. We are all born perfect uh, learning and living machines. If you look at children, anybody can see that plainly. And if you, we would just let people learn the way they naturally do, they would be very curious and creative. If, if we could actually encourage that more, we would see amazing results in all children. It is the duty and more responsibility for ministers of education, as well as policymakers, and indeed ministerial cabinets across the world, to provide quality education to all students so that they may have life and live it more abundantly.